I want to share something with you all. You tell me if this has happened with you or if it resonates. It, pardon the noise, it's raining. My daughter is 16 and will be turning 17 soon. And when you turn 16, of course, you can get a license, many different pathways to get there. I didn't get my license until I was 18 or almost 18, something like that. I forget exactly. No, I think, no, I was 18. My oldest didn't get hers until she was 18. And then my middle got hers at 16. But each of our children for them was to, before they turned 16, we would take them to a different parking lots and off to the side and teaching them how to drive, right? Primarily though, um, at night, in an empty parking lot, a school parking lot, college, whatever that looks like. And we took them, so by the time that they turned 16 and were able to get that permit, we would have them behind the wheel more, right? So we are in the car, of course, um, and then they do the driving, get them used to it, can help correct them while they're out there. Well, my youngest baby, she just has not had an interest in doing it that way. Meaning her intention has always been, I'm going to get my permit first and then I'll start practicing. Well, I would, she would say, I would go, hey, you haven't said anything about practicing. I am leaving this up to you. You know, if this is something you want to do, it's your responsibility to get this scheduled in. You know, I'm ripping and running around, you know, with the company, with my company and with your sisters. Um, it's going to be up to you. So she was like, okay, I will. Well, I had done that to her a few times. When she finally told me, she said, Ma, you keep saying this. To I me. told you I got it, so I have it. I'm like, Well, then what are you doing? Because you haven't said, you know, you wanted to go and blah, blah, blah. All of this stuff. Well, she told me, she said, I'm waiting until I get my permit. She said, I have to have my permit for six months. And I think, don't quote me on the time, because I forget, for six months before I'm able to get my license, meaning drive on my own. She said, So I don't have any rush to go out there and do it before I get my permit. Six months, once I get my permit, I'm going to start scheduling in and saying, hey, let's get out here and drive. Let's do it. You know, do what we need to do. I'm like, well, why would you do that? Because we could be practicing now. And, 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 and. Well, she listened and she essentially told me because I don't want to. I took a deep breath. I thought about what she said. And I said, okay, why am I getting myself in a tizzy for something she said she did not want to do that way? It is of no consequence to me if she chooses to do it later on. Because the fact of the matter is, even when she has her permit, I have to be in the car, right? So when we're going to different places that I'm choosing to take her anyway, I'll still be in the car. It's not like anything will be different if she practices now versus when she wait or if she waits to get her permit. So I told her, okay, you know, all right, that's fine. Whatever you choose to do, it's up to you. Admittedly, I had something in me that was kind of like, why would you do that? Why would you wait? And I had to really learn to let it go. Now, of course, COVID happened. And so it pushed back a lot of things with her being able to get her permit at the time. But that still was of no impact or no consequence to her and how it is that she's able to drive and what she'll be able to do once she has her permit. And that freed me up, you all. Me letting that go, it freed me up mentally, right? From having to worry about, let me make sure she get this and did this. She had an understanding. She just had a way that she wanted to do it. And I, when I relinquished to that, it freed me up with my time. Because I was constantly saying, well, come on, let me know. Because when I, my day ends, then we'll go up here. I just get dressed, throw on a little dress, and, you know, we get in the car, we'll go. I didn't have to do that then. I could wait until she got her permit and she was able to do it at a time she was comfortable with. That means that she's more likely to do it in a way that is more comfortable for her. Her being more comfortable means she'll drive better, be more alert. That's more comfortable for me. And I could relinquish that. And that was such a lesson for me in other things in my life. The same thing you are in business. Let me share with you a little lesson that I've got. As you know, I own my own corporate training company, right? And so I started out with less than no budget. That's just what it is. I started out with less than no budget on Clubhouse. I'm going to share these types of stories just to show you um, some things it is that I've done that have been of help to me that can maybe be of help to you if you're on a similar path for whatever it is that you're doing. But I remember in my business, when I got ready to start out, literally all I had was a vision and a dream. Forget dollar and a dream, because I did not have that, right? 
All I had was this dream that I wanted this company. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew how I wanted to grow it, the people I wanted to reach. I knew what I wanted to say, who I wanted to say it to, etc. And I just took the leap. Everything that I knew said you had to have a business plan. Everything that I knew said you had to have this amount of a budget. Everything that I knew said that you need investments or loans. Everything it is that I knew said you needed to have this credit or even just personal credit that you could use um, in, in place of that business credit until you built that business. All of that stuff and everything that I knew said you had to have this much, uh, be this savvy about business or be a student this way around business. I was none of those things. I had a vision, I had a dream, right? And so I went out there and took the leap and I just started doing the work, right? And so much of it required me, it required me to do the work. I couldn't go automate it, right? With a lot of stuff because I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money to pay the fee um, to the different platforms or people to get it set up for me automated. So I had to come on there every day and just be consistent in my messaging and my posting and my building and my creating and my delivering, right? I just had to do what it is that I needed to do. And I did that. I started that in uh, late 2018, my business, right? My people development and training business. Admittedly, I realized that I was still holding on to some of the old things it is that I was doing before I had more of a budget or a budget, right? Because we came from nothing. And I said, Sherlyn, you're still doing those same things. So you're still producing these same results, which is well below the vision it is that you have for your company yourself. It's well below the dream it is that you have for it. You have to let go of some of the things that you were doing in the past to get started and get out of that survival and startup mode and be the whole CEO that you are. So I had to let go, or am still letting go of some other things. And as I let go of those things, more things are coming in and it's growing exponentially. And then that thing is paying for that and get putting a dollar in my pocket, right? Without going too much further into it, I think you all get what I'm saying. It's so important that you know when to let go. You have to know when to let go to let other things in. I think this is at such an amazing time of year because of course, we're going into 2021 and you don't have to wait to get this started. You can start literally right now. It's just about getting to it and doing it, right? Doing the work that it takes behind it. So I'm so super excited, excited to cheer you on. I'm super excited for to see all this growth and um, newness and what everyone has learned and taken away from this last year it is that we have experienced. I'm so excited for you to see my growth um, as a company. I do hope that you follow um, along with me. All righty, you all. Well, I will talk to you all next time. I hope to see you on my uh, business pages, which is People Development and Training, and on Clubhouse, all under PDNC or People Development and Training. All righty? All righty, you all take good care.